video, I'm doing something different. Today, I will show you what's in my uni bag. So before I go to uni, I found this video quite useful because honestly, I have no idea what to pack for uni. So I make this video. Hopefully, it will help you too. Disclaimer here, I really hate carrying heavy bags. Okay, so these are all the essentials, like the most essential things ever. So let's open this bag. As you can see, this bag is, is actually the one that I bought from Thailand, like Bangkok. And it turns out, it is the most essential thing I have to use in my uni life. And honestly, this is really, really cheap, you know. It's only around 15 pounds. I think it's around like 10 or 15 pounds. So you don't need an expensive designer bag for uni, okay? My first most essential, as you can see here, is my laptop. I need it every day and I bring my laptop to all my classes and all my seminars and lectures because some people bring iPad, I get it, but for me, I type faster than I write, so laptop is essential. For my second essential is my planner and my notebook. Well, as a student, you need to bring notebook. Actually, you don't need to bring notebook when you have an iPad or a laptop, but I still want to bring it. So this is my notebook and this is my planner. You know what? This planner is like so cute. Like look at this. This is very cute, okay? And and you know, and even the inside is so cute. And it's quite cheap. I I didn't buy this in UK. I just delivered. But it only cost around three pounds five pounds maximum no but i think it's three pounds so it's a bargain all right this is so cute like really cute i'm not gonna lie so i write down all my important notes and it actually like important deadlines and like meetings and you know important dates in my calendar and then i need to bring my pen because obvious reasons i have to write right so this is my highlighter this is my pen and this is my uh, like a permanent pen, permanent marker, permanent pen. I don't know how to call this. Okay, here you may be wondering why I don't bring a pencil case because you know what? I don't need one. If I have three things, I'm good to go. And I told you already, I don't like to carry heavy bags, so I try to be as minimal as possible. Yeah, let's move on to another thing. Another essential is my medical kit. Well, you know, girl, I have to bring the menstrual products. So I have my pads and tampons and I also have medicine for it because sometimes when it hurts too bad, I can't even walk so I need all the medicine and everything. Yeah. So another product is my shopping bag. Here in UK, you have to pay money for the bag for your groceries, either plastic bag or the paper bag or whatever. You have to pay money for it. So if you don't want to pay money, you have to bring your own shopping bag. And at the same time, you shouldn't use plastic bag all the time because it's not really good for the environment. I really recommend you to buy your own shopping bag and just put it in your bag. So another thing is my ID. Well, obviously you can enter university without the ID card and you have to bring this every day and you think this is one card. Actually, it's not one card, okay? It's two cards because one is for university entrances and the other is for the accommodation entrances. So I have to bring two cards every day, whatever I go. And another product, it's my electronics, my AirPod and my headphone. Here, you may be wondering why I bring both AirPod and my headphone. The reason is that this headphone doesn't work with my laptop. I don't know why. So I still need to bring my AirPod in case there is like a Zoom meeting or online learning or whatever. To be honest, I like headphones rather than my AirPod because sometimes when I listen to a music or watch a movie with my AirPods for like 3-4 hours, my ears starts to hurt. So at that time, headphone works better. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like headphone is more fashionable. I don't know. <gasps> Here, see? It's cute though. Anyway. Now let's move on to our another product. <laughs> so this product is something that you wouldn't think that I will be carrying and it is this thingy. Do you know what that is? It's called Evil Eye Protector. I'm not gonna explain details but it's supposed to protect you from all the negative energy coming towards you and things like that. And I'm a little bit spiritual sometimes and I like to bring this protection with me to wherever I go. I know, I know. 
don't blame me. Another essential that I bring every day is my hair curl. I really like it because this is a huge one so that it can hold all my hair like this. I'm gonna show you. See? Yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> So now my final uni essential is my water bottle. This is one liter bottle and I think I bought it from Amazon. My favorite thing about this is that you have all these like little mock cans. It always remind me to drink water every hour. And I'm not gonna lie, because of this water bottle, I feel like I drink a lot more water than before because you can just track your progress by looking at this. Wow, it's almost gone here. Oh, the final. The so here inside my bag, there is also like a small compartment inside and that's where I put my tissues, uni tissues. Okay, don't ask me why I'm bringing tissue and my lipsticks. This is the lip gloss from Bobbi Brown and this is another lip blush, Sephora. Sometimes I bring the lipstick that I'm wearing that day, but usually this too is my good to go thing. So that's it. <laughs> so there is nothing left inside my bag. And to be honest, you don't need to bring a lot of things to uni, like they have almost everything, even pen and pencil days they have it. And also, why would you bring your heavy bag to uni? Because you ended up carrying the whole day and sometimes you have to run from one class to another and it took like 10 minutes. So why would you carry a heavy bag, right? Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions about UK University or University of Manchester in particular, you can DM me here on my Instagram and don't forget to follow it too. And for more UK related vlogs, check it out here and subscribe my channel here too. Bye-bye and see ya!